And former Kenya Sevens International and Royal Media Services employee Alan Makaka was laid to rest this morning in his village in Mukonje near Kakamega town. The Kenya Sevens International died a week ago in a freak road accident on Mombasa Road. Michael Kenyon with the details. When queens seek their give us strength. The final journey started in Nairobi. And due to cessation of movement in and out of Nairobi Metropolitan, many of his friends and colleagues were not able to travel to pay their last respects. Makaka last played for Kenya Harlequins, a club with a rich history and ownership of its players. Fix them till they want no more was the clarion call and Makaka fixed their opponents with no mercy. The team was part of the Kenya Sevens and uh, the guys who we looked up to and today seeing him in that coffin is something that has really put us down. It's really a sad moment today and uh, we'll remember how he made everyone smile and joked around and, and just made everyone around him uh, happy. Man, it's, it's so sad but uh, yeah, but Never say that attitude. His friends did the best they could, escorting him as far as Tigoni before turning back and letting the horse take Makaka home. Bright and early on Saturday morning, the ceremony was brief. Only a few people allowed to join the family as per the government regulations during the COVID-19 pandemic. Personally, this one has hit me really, really hard because I was speaking to him the whole of Friday. Uh, the entire day on Friday we were chatting. He's the man I was proud of. And I know very well Alan was proud of me too. Alan was my friend and he was my son. You are a kind, humble, and only God knows how generous you are. You would share the last cent and say God will provide. After the ceremony at his father's home in Muhonje near Kakamega, the procession headed to his homestead for burial. His colleagues from the Kenya Sevens rugby team, the defunct Ulinzi RFC and Kenya Harlequins, were the pallbearers waiting patiently as his grave was dug. Uh, we believe as a great man he's going to be with his gods and will join him one day. I have very good memories of him, of being a friend and being a team player and being a very dedicated uh, rugby man. Him being a very uh, happy person each and every day, when you meet, you just start laughing. Alan Makaka was laid to rest a few minutes to 10 a.m. with only close family in attendance. A lot has been said about Alan Makaka, but not enough has been said to describe the person that was Alan Makaka. Many will remember Alan Makaka as one of the greatest Rugby Sevens players ever produced by this country. But for his close friends, a light has been switched off. A light that would light up any room, however the mood. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV in Kakamega County.